All right. This is going to be a quick video, and um, it's about how do princess persimmons taste? Now, ever since I got wind of princess persimmon or solid online as a bonsai, I was amazed by how small the little fruits are and how cute those little trees are. Here's a couple examples I'll put up for you to see. Really cool looking bonsai. Okay, so I bought a few for myself. So I've, I've planted some in ground because I know they, they take a long time to thicken up. And um, I got it from several different sources. Um, and this year I have two trees that amazingly uh, gave me fruit. They do require a male and female to be able to produce fruit. So uh, I think I have a male mixed up somewhere. Um, and let's go look at that, those two trees right now. So I, I've got several varieties of persimmon, two of more in the landscape and fruit tree varieties here. Here's uh, Fuyu. And the tree went crazy this year, maybe because of all the heat that we got. Fuyu is the non-astringent variety. Uh, for us here in the Pacific Northwest, they ripen um, very late. So right now we're in mid-November, almost Thanksgiving, and this is kind of the color and state that they're in. This right here is my Hychia tree. This is more of the uh, uh, astringent variety. Um, and this is the first year it's produced fruit. These are larger, obviously, and um, they do need to ripen up on the counter. They, there's no way they ripen up on the tree here in the Pacific Northwest. So I'm going to have to pick most of these and then put them on the counter and let them ripen. Let's pick a Fuyu. And let's go ahead and pick one of these Hychias. Okay, this right here is my little princess persimmon that I picked up uh, this year, as a matter of fact. And uh, you can see all the little fruits on there. Really cute tree, right? I mean, I really dig this variety to uh, turn into bonsai. And you can see here, I mean, it's not that thick, but it's already fruiting. And I... Um, I'm kind of wary the fact that there's still fruit on the tree and the birds or the even the rats have not gotten to it probably don't taste good but let's pick one and I'm, I'm trying to pick one that looks like the most ripe oh, I just broke a branch probably need scissors for this. All right, now every time I do a fruit tasting video, I wanna I wanna weigh the fruit just to kind of document, you know, some of the uh, the measurables. Uh, okay, so this is a chocolate persimmon, 148 grams. It's probably going to be the heaviest of the three. Fuyu, oh, really close. This is 147 grams. Let's take a look at this princess persimmon. If it even registers, it, it doesn't even register. As a gram, do I need to go to something lighter? Okay, so it's less than a gram. It's tiny. It's so cute. Well, I can't really taste the chocolate persimmon only because it needs to ripen on the counter. And I don't want a mouthful of astringency. We all know what fuyu tastes like. Mine doesn't get as sweet as the ones grown in uh, warmer weather because uh, we just don't have enough heat units and a long enough season. Hmm. But overall, everybody knows what a fuyu tastes like. It's a good persimmon. But nowhere on the internet have I seen somebody do a taste test on the princess persimmon. Maybe there's a reason for that. It's not not that soft. 
I mean, there's some give to it, but we're gonna we're gonna try it. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> oh. Holy cow. Okay. I'm gonna try to give an objective re review here on the Princess Persimmon. It, it tastes like dirty earwax. I mean, everything bitter that you can possibly think of. Uh, you know, ginseng mixed in with earwax, mixed in with, you know, the, the bottom of the tire where it meets the road. Should we try again? Oh man, that's bad. This is not, this is not an edible fruit. It's pretty, it makes a great bonsai and makes for a beautiful silhouette. Don't eat it. Princess Persimmon is, is it's just not a good fruit. Um, wow, and it lingers, oh my God. That bitterness just lingers right here in the back of your throat. It's almost like a, like a bitter spice. This thing is more bitter than Scottie Pippen and Michael Jordan after the last dance. I'm pretty sure if I spread this tire over toast, it would taste better than that Princess Persimmon. So anyways, that's the Princess Persimmon. Grow it as bones eye, grow it as an ornamental. Don't eat it. I'm doing it for you. So it's a quick video, but I appreciate your time. I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Gotta eat a real persimmon to get rid of that flavor in my mouth. Mmm.